Hello everybody, Flo here and welcome back to another episode of Bosses of Borderlands. This time we're doing the Dragons of the Tiny Tina DLC and we're doing it solo. Yes, you heard right, we're doing it solo with the Gunzerker, which is a pre-requirement to do this. And you also need to have special weapons uh, and special, special skills to do this. And well, I'll, I'll just say let the video go and then I show you what I mean. Well, so starting off with the skills, there are four core skills you want to have. The first one is last longer, so you last longer. <laughs> um, then the next skill you want to have is I'm ready already, so that you have a 25% faster cooldown rate. Then you want to have get some, because get some allows you to have an extra three seconds, I think, yeah, three seconds of cooldown, of less cooldown. And then down not out, which allows you to conserve when in fight for your life. I don't use that in this video, but it's a nice skill to have. So then you need to have a couple of good weapons and special weapons, of course. You need to have an infinity which has no element, that's very important, and you need to have a grog nozzle. If you don't know how to get a grog nozzle, I have a video now, in the top left corner, that shows you how to get the grog nozzle, because it is a mission item. Um, you need to go to the Mines of Everest and accept the mission The Beard Makes the Man from Claptrap. So, then you need to have a couple of gnaw fleets. In this case, I'm using two fire gnaw fleets. Then a sham shield, of course. Um, a magic missile, just your favorite grenade mod. A fire damage relic and a legendary berserker class mod. And here are the other two gnaw fleets that I'm going to use for the fire dragon because the fire dragon obviously is immune to fire. So. <laughs> I'm using a different gnaw fleet for this, or two different gnaw fleets. So I am using a corrosive and a shock gnaw fleet for this. So let's get started. And after pressing F on this script or whatever this is, um, the dragons will appear. And I'm doing it in the following order. I'm doing it first the slag dragon, then I'm doing the shock dragon, because both of them can do like a laser beam type thing that um, basically kill you. They, they just kill you. Um, and then you want to do the corrosive and then switch out the north fleets and kill the fire dragon with this. So as you can see, I'm using the setup infinity plus grog nozzle and the two north fleets in the other hand. And the key to the strategy is to know when you want to switch from the north fleet to the pistols. In this case, you want to switch from the pistols to the north fleet when your sham shield is active, because when it's not active, then it won't absorb any ammunition. And that's the whole point of the setup, that you absorb your ammunition and have basically infinite rockets. So, now my shield is down, so I basically uh, use my pistols and now my shield is back up and I use the north fleet. And that's all I can say for this. And yeah, by the way, you should slag as much as possible, because then you deal three times the damage. So, I think I'm going to shut up now, and I'll just let you see what I'm doing here.
There we go, the dragons are dead. I am happy, and here is a lot of loot. Basically, get everything that is in the game. You get white... No, I don't think you get white items. But you get green items, you get blue items, you get... Uh, purple items. I even get a legendary from them. And I mean, that's really good stuff for a boss. I mean, we have guys like Hyperius, we have guys like... Like Master G and Veracidus, they're all really a pain in the ass to kill and you get nothing from them, basically nothing. The, the only thing that's worth is basically Hyperius because you can get the Norfleet from him, but everything else is just bullshit. And this is the first boss that drops really, really good stuff. So there you, you could see that I... I got the stinger and here is the legendary soldier class mod and after that you also get access to a lot of chests and I mean that's awesome I mean I want to do that I want to have a big badass fight that is hard and that you get rewarded very well not such a stupid thing like I, I don't know killing trying to kill master g for an hour and get basically nothing from him basically nothing is that's just bad that isn't even worth killing so there you go all my <laughs> all my inventory um so and that's just actually everything i wanted to say in this video i want to thank you for watching and I will not see you in the next episode because there is, maybe there is, but I doubt it, there is no episode to come of Bosses of Borderlands, and yeah, <laughs> so that's everything I wanted to say, and I will see you guys in the next video, bye!
Yeah. 